Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Marie and I want to welcome you back to my channel. This is Roscoe and we are on our camping trip. So uh, we just got up here. We haven't been to the campsite yet, but it was a beautiful drive up and we made one quick stop here at Walmart uh, to um, John picked up some fishing bait and, uh, and I'm going to show you a clip of Walmart. You can see the mountain range right behind Walmart. That's where we're headed, right below the snow. So now we're just waiting in the car. I just gave Roscoe a drink. So uh, I think I'm gonna take him out to take a little potty break. Are you hot? He's got his camping haircut. We've got him all groomed here. So uh, he's he's been shaved by mommy. Not the best job I've ever done, but it'll serve its purpose. Keep him nice and cool. Although with that snow on the mountaintop, I don't think it's gonna be a problem to stay cool. We're gonna need to we do have a forced air heater in our camper, thank goodness, because I think we're going to be using it. And we are right on the creek here. This is Chalk Creek and it feeds right into the Arkansas. And we're only about maybe not even half a mile from Chalk Lake. So John's a happy fisherman. And you can see the snow right up there on top of the mountain. And the natives have already come by to say hi. This is the view outside our door. Right on top. I want to share with you the drive up, how beautiful that is. Uh, those peaks with the snow on them. Um, you can actually see those from our campsite. They're right above us. We're not that high uh, where the snow is, but it's still pretty chilly here. And um, so those, um, one of those mountains is Mount Princeton, and it's a 14er, which means it's 14,000 feet above timber, uh, above sea level. And um, anyway, so it is cooler. Uh, there's a radio in the background. Uh, we are ham radio operators, and my husband always has these when we camp. So we're going to get a little noise here. Um, but yeah, John went fishing. Uh, we went to St. Elmo, which is a little mining town this morning. It's a, we used to take our kids here all the time when they were little. So this has a lot of memories, these, these, this area here. Um, but these are the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. We're at a little uh, near a little town called St. Elmo. It's an old ghost town. And look who's on the side of the road. Oh my gosh, he is adorable. 
And St. Elmo has tons of these little chipmunks. They're all over the place. And this little guy wanted some food. There are chipmunks everywhere and they sell food and the kids all gather around and feed them. And it was one of the, our kids used to love to come up here and feed the, the chipmunks. And these are the original structures that were here when this area was originally founded as a, a mining camp. They've been around since the 1800s. There was a big fire here that took out a lot of the structures, but we're really fortunate to have access to, uh, to these. I can't imagine going out at night in through the snow just to go to that little outhouse to do your business. I complain just when Roscoe wants to go outside in the middle of the night. It was not an easy life here. And when I was reading a little bit about the original uh, founders here, a lot of the those men that came here to found this area, um, there were some very e highly educated men, some with uh, medical degrees, lawyers. Uh, they were they were businessmen. They knew what they were doing. And this is the town hall. And I believe that little corner room back there is the old jail house or the jail cell. And actually I read that it didn't get used as much as you might think. It wasn't an easy life here, but a lot of these settlers, they knew how to keep their spirits high and they held regular dances and they had a little uh, band that would play music uh, regularly and they just kept their spirits up. This book, I'm going to read it, uh, but it's called From Gold to Ghost, and it's the history of St. Elmo. I really like to read about these little towns when we're up here, so I'm reading. John is fishing, and Roscoe, he's worn out. I am going to pick him up and show him. <laughs> Say hello. I gave him a haircut before we came, um, just so he would be more comfortable, and um, it's. I did not do a great job, but he's okay with it. He's tired. We've been sleeping and eating and um, relaxing, just a lot of relaxing. So, all right. Well, I want to thank you guys for sticking with my video this far. If you do, um, uh, if you are new here, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. We were packing up to leave, and there was just a little bit of hummingbird uh, nectar in the base of the feeder so I just let them finish it off